Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to send yourself HTML email tests to your own email address using the Emailify Figma plugin and the putsmail.com uh, service. So to get started, all we need to do is go to your Figma file and if you click on the little resources icon up here and search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y. And if you go to the plugins tab and click on the Emailify item, you can run the plugin by clicking on this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon here and clicking save. And that's just gonna make it really easy to run the plugin from your saved plugins list later. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna to go to my Figma canvas and right click anywhere. Just go down to plugins and then go down to saved plugins. And if you click on the emailify item, that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically helps you to design HTML emails in Figma which you can then customize and change the content and styles of before exporting it to production ready HTML automatically. So I'm not gonna be going through all of the design features today. I'm gonna to be assuming that you've already got yourself familiar with those and you've got the email designed the way that you want. Uh, if you're new to the plugin, you can check out some other tutorials on the YouTube channel, which will go into depth about how to use the design tools and uh, create and customize your emails the way that you want to. Uh, but for today, let's just assume that you've already got your email designed and now you wanna send a test email to yourself of the exported HTML. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll start by exporting the email from Figma to HTML. So I've got my email here. I'm just gonna click on the export HTML button in the plugin. And once you've clicked on that, just make sure the upload hosted images uh, URL option selected, and then click on the export to HTML button here. And once that finishes generating, we can download that to our computer. So once it finishes uploading the images, uh, you'll get a little button down here that says download your zip file. So I'm gonna click on that now. And if you save that to your desktop and just unzip that file, and then if you open up that folder, you'll see that you've got a folder uh, called the same name as your Figma frame here. And inside of that folder, there'll be an index.html file, which is your HTML email. So I'm gonna open that up in my code editor. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that into here. And this is basically all the exported automatically generated HTML from our email. And I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard for now. So I'm just gonna select all of that and copy it. And then what I'm gonna do is go to my browser and I'm just gonna to go to putsmail.com. So that's P-U-T-S-M-A-I-L.com. And this is a service that's free. It allows you to send tests of your HTML emails to yourself. Uh, so you can see what they look like in your own email inbox or on your mobile or on your desktop uh, email client. So to get started, you just have to create a new account. So it's totally free. You can just sign up for a Putsmail account. And then once you've done that and you've signed in, you can then click on this create a new test email button. So I'm gonna click on that now. And then once that page loads, you're going to be able to drop in your HTML, uh, add a subject line and select the email addresses or input the email addresses that you wanna send the HTML test to. So first of all, I'm just gonna drop in my HTML. So I've just pasted that into the body there. I'm just gonna make that subject line to be test. For my email, I'm just gonna paste in my own email. So in this case, I'm just gonna do one address. You can actually add more addresses if you wanna send it to multiple people or multiple uh, inboxes of your own. Uh, you can totally do that by clicking on this button here. But for today, I'm just gonna be sending one HTML email to myself, uh, which is gonna be going to a Gmail account. And then when you scroll down here, you wanna make sure to not check this checkbox that says move my CSS inline. Uh, Emailify automatically inlines all of the content. And what that means is that uh, you can see down here that the uh, table cells and the HTML elements themselves already have inline styles applied to them. So you don't need to check that box. In fact, it'll probably uh, cause issues if you do. So just leave that as is. And what that means is it's gonna take exactly what's in our email here and it's going to send that directly to our email address without modifying it at all. Uh, so this is really helpful for troubleshooting, uh, especially if you're using another email platform like MailChimp or Klaviyo or something like that. And if you're seeing issues with that platform, it's always good to run it through putsmail.com uh, as more of a double check, just to make sure that it's not the email platform itself messing about with your HTML. Uh, Putsmail is gonna make sure that your HTML is unmodified, so you get a really accurate view of how it should look. So once you've done all that, just go ahead and click on the I'm not a robot thing uh, just to make sure that it'll send. And then once that's selected, just click on send email. 
and it's going to shoot off that email, uh, that HTML to the address that you specified or addresses that you specified. And once it finishes, it'll give you a little success message. And so it's saying your test is on its way. Uh, so now what you want to do is just go back to your inbox. So log into your email client and switch into that. So I've just switched into my Gmail inbox and I can see that the test that we just sent ourselves is right here. So you can see uh, there's a test from Litmus Puts Mail. So if I click on that result, so we can see here that it's basically loaded up the HTML as we'd expect. So this is all of the real HTML uh, that we exported from Figma and we're able to test this directly uh, in our Gmail uh, inbox using the Gmail web app. You could obviously test this in the Gmail mobile app as well if you're using that. Uh, or if you're sending this to a totally different email service, you would obviously log into that uh, platform uh, or if it's the Outlook client or something like that and you could see exactly what this looks like. You can click on any of the buttons, make sure everything's working as you'd expect. Uh, and that's going to be a really nice way of just testing the email to make sure that it's looking good uh, on your own client before you start testing it around uh, other clients as well, maybe using the litmus.com uh, platform to do some more robust testing. But yeah, this is a really, really easy way uh, that I always do personally when I'm trying to test an email uh, from Figma. So if I'm exporting my emails from Figma to HTML, uh, using Emailify, I will send a test to myself sometimes for troubleshooting reasons, just using Putsmail, just to rule out any issues with email clients that might be mangling the code. So just using that as a really reliable way of sending unmodified HTML, uh, I think is a really good practice to get into uh, if you are troubleshooting some weird issues with email platforms, just to rule out that the email platform isn't the cause of the problem to begin with. Uh, this is a really good way of validating that. So yeah, we'll leave it there for today. I uh, just wanted to keep this really short and simple. If you've been wondering how to send yourself uh, HTML email tests, uh, using Putsmail uh, is a really good way of doing that, a really quick way of getting your emails out of Figma uh, into HTML and doing a really quick test just as a double check to see what it looks like right out of the gate. Uh, hopefully that's going to be helpful for your own workflows and also if you're troubleshooting, as I mentioned before. So yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching. And we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.